early Black Friday sale happening now at Shop Mellow Merch. Yes, head on over to redeem your 15% off of everything in the store, including free standard shipping, guys. Yes, free standard shipping. I said it. It will only be lasting until November 26th. So click the link in the description box below or click on a product that you see underneath the video you are watching right now to redeem your special offer. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. What's up guys, I'm Melo and this is Melo Reacts. Welcome to my channel if you are new here and to all of my subbies. Welcome back guys. We're getting into some more fluffy Gabriel Iglesias that is. And listen, okay, so I know there's a few other videos or so many that I have to watch, but this Cuban coffee situation, because I've had some before and I would love to hear his experience. And coffee in general is weird for me because it just gets me too extra. I think I may be sensitive to it. So I'm really, really curious to see what he's about to say about this. And plus his storytelling is just freaking amazing. And ah, we're back. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Let's get into it. Thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are all standing. Huh? No pressure. <laughs> pressure. Mm -hmm. We're having fun, you guys. We are here coming to you from South Florida. <sighs> Heck yeah, man. Really close. Uh, I got to ask a question since we're here. I just want to know, uh, how many Latinos in the crowd tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Now, notice I asked Latinos. I wasn't very specific. Because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You call a Mexican, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything but a Cuban, you're going to get stabbed. <laughs> so for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. It's very easy. All you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't have to understand a single word, just listen to the flow, that'll let you know. For example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. Hey bro, how's it going? Pues aquí no más, hombre. Pues tú sabes, güey. You know, Cubans, I found out Cubans, you guys speak Spanish, like everything means something, it's very serious. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where are you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you wanna know? <laughs> Just asking, dude. It's like, why is he yelling? I don't know, I don't know. And I found out Puerto Ricans, you guys speak Spanish like there's a time limit. Ask a question, hey, bro, yeah. what's up? Hey, bro, the other day I was going to go to the cabinet, I'm going to go to the cabinet, I'm going to go to the cabinet, I'm going to go to the cabinet. Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> Quick. Another way is the beverage. The beverage will let you know who you're dealing with. Oh, God, For example, so a Mexican's true. preferred drink of choice is tequila, okay? A Puerto Rican's preferred drink of choice is either Don Cu or Coquito. Right? And a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. <laughs> now let me tell you how I know about this one. So a few years ago, so Martina and I were doing a show at the Improv in Miami, and after the show was over, I was talking to Martina, I said, hey bro, I said, we gotta try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about, it's our first time here. Mm, and so, so we go good. outside to catch a cab, and when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out, and that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you go from yep. really, really white all the way to freaking navy black, just hardcore. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, just dark school. El Negro! Hardcore, you know what I mean? I didn't know that there was such a thing as a black Cuban, because we get in the car and we're speaking Spanish, and this guy turns around and he's black, and he's like, Donde quieren ir? Why you wanna go? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. <laughs> So he's yelling at it. Donde quiere ir? I'm like, dude, uh, why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which 
for everyone at home, Calle Ocho is uh, Spanish for 8th Street, and it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, <laughs> he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta, okay? Popula. So uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. <laughs> we walk inside, and I think, what was it, Martin? Like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when we went in? Easy 3 in the morning. Easy 3 o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this table, and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out, and there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff. That I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas, fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, and here comes Plenty. the waiter, and the waiter's coming over, and he gets in my face, and he's like, ¿Qué tú quieres? And I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> Why is he yelling? I don't know. <laughs> I said, listen, bro, I'll tell you what, um, let me look at this menu a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right, Martin? Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? Coffee? And he's like, oh, okay, un cafecito. <laughs> and he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of <laughs> coffee on the coaster. And he puts it down in front of me, and he's like, okay. And I'm like, what is this? Eh, un cafecito. <laughs> I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a Ito. I'm a Ande. <laughs> that coffee, honey. That's why that coffee comes in such a very small, small cup, okay? And then I started thinking, maybe he knows who I am. I get the joke. Bring the really big guy the really little cup. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I said, bro, what is it? I go, no, 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 no. I'll bring me a full-size cup of coffee. Take this back. I was frustrated. So the guy's like, okay, and what you want? Okay. So he grabs it all pissed off, and then he goes in the kitchen, and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks. He's like, Manolo. And then he comes back with a bowl of Cuban coffee, okay? And he puts it down in front of me, and he won't leave the oh, table. He's like, okay. Oh, like, no. Okay. 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 Oh, Lord, no, do not drink that whole thing. Oh, no, this ain't good. Okay. Oh, okay. no, this ain't gonna be good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants me to make sure this is what I want, you know, what I want, right? Mm -hmm. So I pick up the bowl and I take a little sip of it. And when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh, my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. Uh -huh. It was really, really strong. And then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass mm -hmm. of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back oh, in the kitchen. No. So I picked it up to my face again and I drank the whole thing. Oh, you for sure trying to die. You trying to die. Like, what you think? You trying to have a heart attack. Well done. I knew I messed up, bro. Yeah. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, vaya con Dios. <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen. He's like, Manolo, come on. <laughs> Ten minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is no lie. And what's the I feel like a lot of different cultures, um, Armenian, and then because it's so uh concentrated, uh comment down below if you ever had someone read your um what is that called? This leftover. I totally forgot. But there are women that know how to like read the actual uh, coffee grinds or whatever that are left over in that little small cup and it's very strange but it's amazing at the same time because what it turns into it's someone would just have to explain it to you but oh my gosh I could never I would never yes because that coffee wakes you up in two seconds and that's all you need yeah oh my gosh again Bravo. This man is amazing. Um, <laughs> comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. And please check the description box below for anything that you need to know about me and what I'm doing out in these digital streets. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>